Ladies and gentlemen, the American jury and Bulldog Nation, happy Holy Saturday. I want to talk about today, and I, this is one of those videos that I save up for the weekend, the wussification of America. The participation medal America. Once upon a time, this country was founded upon grit. It was founded upon self-reliance. It was founded upon capitalism, God, and the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. Somewhere along the lines, all of them being hijacked. But I just thought of something recently, and I wanted to share it with you. And it's the wussification of America. And I think back upon it, and I want to go back, I, I want to say George Bush 43 years. I, I feel like if you look at our country and who ran the country, even though maybe it wasn't perfect, we only had a, tr I remember thinking a trillion dollars, like, oh my God, a trillion dollars is so much money, is how much our debt was. And then it was like two trillion dollars. I was like, oh my goodness. But think about how our country, the last 30 to 25 years, have been run from Bush 43 up until now, how has this country gotten better with, and I'm being serious, is there a core, I'm just asking the question, is there a correlation of this, oh, let's get inclusive, we got to elect more women to Congress, we have to elect more uh, blacks to Congress, we have to elect transgenders, we have to let everything, we have to be, not, all these New rules, social media kitting the stage, the internet, everything else. Is there a direct correlation between all of that, our culture changing, less people going to church, and what's happened to our country? I think the answer is overwhelmingly hell yes. Remember, I did a video recently, diversity over anything. Not who's the smartest, who's the best, by golly, diversity. But let's talk about this. We now live in a country that being fat's okay. It's okay that you're fat. You got feelings. We have fat clothes. We got fat sports uh, illustrated swimsuit models. We got plus size models. Fat is beautiful, so forth and so on. Well, let me give it to you straight. Being fat isn't good because being fat means you are going to have incredible health issues and health problems that everybody sometimes might have to pay for because you might be Medicare, Medicaid. And I came up with this line. You know what? Acceptance is not the same as endorsement. Think about that. Understanding is not the same as endorsement. In other words, not telling fat jokes, for example, would be nice, you know, you don't want to insult somebody, but but encouraging and saying it's okay to be fat is wrong. Many of you might be fat. Guess what? I still like you. You're a Facebook friend or a YouTube follower. Thank you. I'm overweight myself. But it doesn't mean that I should say, hey, it's okay. It's not okay. You should lose weight. I should lose weight. We shouldn't say, hey, it's okay if you're a fat ass. No, it's not. Being lazy. We live in a society now where being lazy is okay. It's okay if you don't work. That's wrong. It's not okay if you're lazy. You shouldn't be lazy. We live in a society where it's like, well, not working's okay if this or that. No, it's not okay. If you can work, you should work. We live in a society where being on drugs and having alcohol is okay. By the way, I want to stress this. It doesn't mean we don't have empathy for those people that unfortunately get addiction for whatever reason. We have empathy, we care, we want to help them. But it's not good for us to say, oh, it's okay. It happens to everybody. It hits every family. No, we shouldn't accept that. We shouldn't accept it at all. We should fight back on it. There's a difference between empathy and saying it's okay. We live in a society now where everything goes. Everything's okay. Meanwhile, we got China, who doesn't think that way, and they're our biggest competitor. They're toughening up while we're weakening up. Folks, I'm telling you right now, going soft is wrong. I got uh, 
one of my buddies yesterday that shares my political views pointed out yesterday about the Roman Empire. You know, the Roman Empire was tough and strong. Then they became a Christian empire. Then they became accepting, 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 soft, soft, soft. What happened? Nobody feared them. Nobody feared them. Everybody tested them. Sound familiar? I can tell you right now, you look at the Holy Roman Empire and the Roman Empire, excuse me, the Roman Empire, not the Holy Roman Empire, the Roman Republic, followed by the Roman dictatorships. You look at the fall of Rome and you look at where the, what's going on in the United States right now and it's eerily familiar. It just is. The other thing is everybody's medicated. We've been taken over by corporate health care, pharmaceuticals and everything else. I wonder how many Americans are on zero medication. Turn the clock back 60s, 70s, 80s. What was the percentage? Everybody's medicated for something, are we not? We have all this depression that's being treated when if you exercise, maybe you'd get enough dopamine to where you wouldn't need to be medicated. The solution, diet, exercise, and good life habits. We seem to live in a country now to where no matter what you do, we're all supposed to go, oh, it's okay. For example, the transgender issue. I mean, I'm telling you right now, folks, you can say all you want about the transgender issue, but you know what? Being understanding of somebody is not the same as endorsing it. And that's what they want. They want us to endorse everything. And that's wrong. That is plain, flat out wrong. This is the bulldog. Every dog has their day. I feel more and more like I'm an island with a few other people and the cause and the way I think. And I also feel like I've got to be stronger than ever for myself and my family and my world that's around me, my own little world, because the way we see the world is totally different. For example, COVID. I mean, how I and my family and my work dealt with COVID, 100% different than all everybody else out there. And guess what? None of us died. And we didn't stop working at all. And we didn't quarantine. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything that these so-called experts told us to do. And we're just freaking fine. It's unbelievable. I watch, I watch these people doing interviews with a freaking uh, mask on six feet away. I'm like, really? Really? Politicians at city council meetings sitting there with their mask on. I watch it all and I, my blood just boils. We, we live in a messed up wussification, over government, over regulated, over tax, liberal media. American Communist 10 trying to control us. You know what? It's going to be interesting on what goes down, down the road. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.